Well, she is a senior human resources specialist who wants to be the next District 5 school board member. Shereen Taylor lost her bid for a county council seat last fall, but she's ready to move ahead. Right, Shereen, thank you for joining thank us right you. now. So tell us a little bit about yourself and some of your goals. Sure, some of my major goals within the school board would be definitely to focus and grow our school system. Um, one of the things I think a lot of us are interested in is growing and making sure that our students within Prince George's County have what they need to succeed and succeed meaning have the tools they need to go on to college, uh, go on to work in the real world. Uh, what, what do we have that we can build on within the school system or what do we need to develop to provide them with the services they need to go on? Now, as we mentioned earlier, you ran for the county council seat in District 6, mm -hmm. and uh, now you're running for school board. Yes. Tell me what separates you from the other candidates. Um, one thing that definitely separates me is my integrity and my willingness to go that extra mile to support the school board system. Um, definitely, um, it's hard work, anything you do, but the one thing that I'm going to focus on are the students, the teachers, administrators, and the parents within the school system. And those are things that I think would definitely separate me, my willingness to go the extra mile to support the system altogether and make sure that our students have what they need to succeed. You're currently um, going to be running against Regina Jacobs. She is the current board member for that district. Um, what separates you from what's been going on in the school board right now? What do you want to do differently? Um, I think everyone would say that Gina has done her job. Um, what I believe that would separate anyone is that extra mile that they're willing to take. You know, what can you do better than the previous, than your successors? What can you bring to the school system that will make you stand out more than your successors? Definitely looking at the program, the budget, what do we have, and bringing those parents back into the school system. You know, this, the PTA means you go to them and there are not a lot of parents there, so just making sure that we have the support from everyone. Everyone meaning the county council, our parents, our teachers, our administrators, and our neighbors within the district. Now, Shereen, you want to start uh, internships for high school kids and get small businesses involved. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, my, my goal is still to get that uh, internship program across the school board and across the different counties, and that would definitely give our students the skill sets that they need to function within school as well as function outside of school. The internship program will focus on placing students within small businesses within our area to learn how a sex, sex, successful business mm -hmm. is run, how to open and close a business, financing a business, what it takes to, to get the money that you need to run the business, and just provide them with office skills that they need in order to take on to school and definitely on to life outside of school. All right, just briefly, we only have about 30 seconds. Sure. Just tell us about you, your family, um, children in the school system. I have lived in Prince George's County for about 20 plus years. I went to Parkdale High School, Benjamin Tasca, Bowie State, University of Maryland. So my focus, my entire education, 21 plus years, have been within the Prince George's County area. So definitely um, one of the things I want to make sure is that our students have what they need because Prince George's County has a lot to offer within school as far as schools. So definitely making sure that we have because I know when I grew up within the school system, there were programs that helped me propel to go on to college and have the career that I have now. So I want to get back to those days, bring back what we used to have within the school system to make sure our students have what they need. Um, I don't have any, any kids, but all my family are within the Prince George's County. We've all went to school in this area. Well, it was great having you here. Thank Good luck so on your much. campaign. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you so much.